As a black man, do you find your travel experience to be different and why? Uh, I think, yes. A lot of people around the world only have a few depictions of the black man. And so they automatically assume you're an athlete or a musician or somebody famous. They, they're not assuming that you just want to go explore. That's, that's, that's foreign to them to just, for a black man or a black person to just have disposable income to just go where you want to go that week, that day, that month. And so it, it's, it's, it's different. The questions are different. Like, oh, you know, what, what brings you to Cape Town? What brings you to, you know, Ghana, to these places? I just want to see it. Like, did you win a trip? Did you? No, I, I paid for it. Like, use miles? No, I paid for it. And so it's it's foreign to them to think that we have that type of capital and disposable income. So I think it's I think it's different. And again, they only know us as professional athletes or musicians. Anything besides, like we don't have regular jobs or profess you know professions or careers. So I think it's I think it's different. I know it's different. Yeah. Um, for me to piggyback, um, yeah, I usually get the. You gotta be somebody famous. Look, you know, TV. I'm kind of short to be an athlete, but maybe soccer or something. I don't know. But um, as a Black American man, what I love about traveling abroad is that the first thing I get from people is I think somebody spoke about it yesterday. It's not about where you're from. Like I'm like, okay, Jersey. They're like, no. What, like, what country are you from? You know, like, because here in America, you're black, but abroad, you know, you're American for the most part, you know, but it's regional around the world, you know, what part of Africa are you from, you know, so it's, you get a lot of that. So it, it kind of makes me feel like what we've been subjected to here in America doesn't, I won't say it doesn't exist abroad, but it gets, it gets you a different feel about traveling abroad. So I love that part about it. If I could chime in real quick on that. I was in Dubai um, a few months ago and one of my friends from London had a friend with, with him and he's like, so, so where are you from? I said, well, I live in the US. He said, where are you from from? I said, the US. <laughs> okay, where's your, where's your parents from? The US. What about your grandparents? The US. Like, I, I can't, there's only, it's like, I don't understand why you guys say the US. Like, where are you from? Africa? I, I, I don't know. So like, I have to go take the D, you know, I wanna go do the, one of those DNA, test where you're from, but they really don't think that we're from the U.S., but if that's all you know, and that's where your parents, your grandparents, and their grandparents, you know, so it's kind of, it was weird to have that conversation, but it made me think, like, man, like, where am I from, you know, traditionally, but. Yeah, and, and I think where you go matters as well. Um, like, I've been to Malaysia, and they, look, they didn't pay me any attention, right? you know, then you go to New Zealand, and it's, you know, they're very family oriented as well. So everybody's cool. I went to Sydney, all of my New Zealand, Sydney, Australia, all of my New Zealand trip. And I felt like I was like in back in America because it was like a little shady there. I was like, what's going on? It's a little, little different here. So it, it, it depends on where you go, um, okay. you know, as a black person, because some places uh, you, you do feel like you're maybe still in the U.S., but a lot of places they want to know about you. Once they see that you're not the, you know, a lot of housewives, those type of people, they see sure. on TV, yeah. they oh, tell me more. You know, they want to know more about Well, you. because perception, Correct. you know, yeah. and you have to, uh, you know, approach them and, and, and then they realize, oh, they're not what they are on TV. <laughs> I, I, I think that's why what each and every one of you guys do and, you know, everybody out there, um, you know, the, the influencers and, you know, um, the bloggers and just people who are avid travelers. That's why it's so essential and so important that, you know, we actually get out there and explore the world because there's so many places that you go to where they're unaccustomed to seeing people of color because we don't travel there. So the more that they actually see and experience people of color, then, you know, it, it, it makes it less of a thing when you get there. So they don't have as many questions about, you know, what you're doing here and stuff like that. It becomes, a normalized uh, reality. So I mean, just speaking for me, like from the bottom of my heart, I have really been um, just touched just seeing the amount of travel that that that, that we have in this room. You know, it's 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 um, it's amazing. So I applaud every one of you guys for for doing your part to to actually show that black people do travel and black people will continue to travel and black people are travel. So thank you.